Hi, we're now back for the very final stage where you can see I'm just in the throes of putting all the jars together. They've all been heated to 180 degrees. There are 14 in total. We may go to a couple more. Uh, with the uh, introduction of the orange zest, you can see it's looking like an absolutely gorgeous, almost orange Seville marmalade, except we've got to bear in mind this is a red crab apple, so very small ones, the rose hips, and rather than soaking it in the muslin overnight, we've gone straight in, juiced it, cleaned it, and just prepped it immediately. You can see as it pours into the jar, it's just quite quite extraordinary it's just the, the amber nectar here is is just beautiful the, the, the aroma it's a very very floral um you, you can smell the orange you can taste the orange but it's got it would be great with meats or quiches or um if you want to add it to a stuffing um you know add, add a couple of, of spoonfuls to a gravy or something it is absolutely beautiful um you, you can just see where we are. I've got a couple more to, to, to jar, um, but that's where I am. You can see what is left in the, the pot. This is just going to go into the jars. And if you see on the ladle, this absolutely gorgeous, gorgeous consistency. It, it's special. Um, it, it's uh, my latest original recipe from uh, Cumbrian Farmhouse Chutneys. Uh, I wish you all a lovely evening, a lovely day, wherever you are in the world. And I'll be back tomorrow night. As I did say, this channel's going to get much hotter, become a very evocative, earthy, wholesome channel of great food, less ingredients, and as much as we can pick from the local hedgerows. And where I live, it is, of course, in the middle of the Lake Districts. I bid you all a good night. See you tomorrow. Bye-bye.